Aber Tonne Nawe. Okay, Hispanos. This guy's putting his gear out. That was definitely a mistake, wasn't it? That is. <laughs> Clipped his wings. Jet coming in. Narval. Missed him. Couple of SPAs up. See if I can deal with this guy actually. Okay. Here comes our jet again. It's close, dude. Very close. Going back for me? Yes, he is. Just missed him there. It's rolling scissors with me though. It's... There he goes. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Spitfire Mark 24. But we're not going to be taking it out into air RB. As you can see this thing is strapped with 8 RP3s. It houses 4 Mark 2 Hispanos. And on top of that, this thing weps at over 2000 horsepower. It still has all the usual Spitfire traits. It turns really well. It can get to space fairly quickly. But this thing can even turn in low altitudes. And not only that, this thing is goddamn beautiful. Now let's talk about these RP3s. One of the most unusual rockets in the game. These things behave like APHE rounds. Now with almost five and a half kilograms of explosive mass, we can hull break things. And there's not really any tank in the game that can survive a top down hit. Even at 60 degrees at 2000 meters, we're at 44 millimeters of penetration. And the only thing I can think of is this guy. At an angle we can't go through, but straight top down is 100% killable, and we will be facing them. At 6.7, we can be dragged up to 7.7 quite regularly, but because it's ground RB, anything that comes up to challenge us, we have some sort of advantage against any aircraft. Jets can't turn very well generally, they lose their energy very quickly, they can't prop hang like we can. And because this is at 6.7, we are one of the highest BR props in the game. And honestly, the only thing that lets this thing down is the guns. Spanos are notoriously bad for sparking, but with ground target belts, we can damage spars, we can knock out pilots, we can knock out engines, but we can also penetrate the roofs of Panthers, we can destroy Leos, RU251s, there are so many things that we can do with the cannons that this plane is an absolute menace. But at 20,000 silver lines, it's pretty expensive to bring out. But because I play this game a lot, we have that luxury. Now, Britain doesn't really have a viable light tank at this battle rating or tank destroyer that can get around the battlefield pretty speedily. So we are going to be taking the Centurion Mark III. And don't worry, we will be doing a video on this at some point. But we're going to utilize this bad boy just to get a couple of kills or some crits and assists and then we can take our plane out and do some real damage. Okay, enough said. Let's get into it. Okay, 3 cap Eastern Europe. <laughs> this is a full up tier though, 7-7. Seven, seven. Now we still have the edge because we do have the stabilizer. I want to try and stay at range. Unfortunately, we're going to get yeeted by heat probably. Leo 1s, RU 251s. And uh, we're also against Russia, so we got big guns to contend with, some really heavy armor as well at this battle rating. Now I'm just going to try and get up on this hill. There's some people pushing out this way. Now, the thing with this is, 6-7, we're going to be facing King Tigers, etc. no matter what. This dude is on a huge wide flank. I tried to get him through these trees here, but didn't quite get the shot on target. I don't know if he's moved at all. Or if he's just chilling in this tree. I can send another. No. Nope. Nothing there. I'm just gonna back off here. Oh. Our ATGM boys. Look how slow that's moving. <laughs> God. You can easily dodge that. Okay, this is a pretty scary boy over here. 
got his fuel tank, he got mine too. He might be able to reload faster. And there we go. T-34. Tried the ammo rack on the first shot, but didn't quite get there. Oh, Leo up here as well. Oh, there he is. I got his loader and track, and he's missed a shot. So, uh, there. Oh, way too low. Now, if I stay behind this bush, if he's using uh, Heat FS, he can't really shoot me through here, which is really silly. Oh, that's a good shot, dude. I missed him as well. His loader's out, and ours is fine. Your track as well. Why is that shot so low? <laughs> Why was it so low? Oh, he just missed the bush too. That's a nice shot, dude. Okay, definitely not the best start, that's for sure. That T-54, pretty good. I don't know if that shot just went wildly off target, just because we're running APDS at range. I need to remember to load up some AP rounds as well for scenarios like that. Now we can try and keep the skies clear, but there are going to be jets. Definitely 262s. We have the advantage of being able to turn quickly and we have a lot of power as well. We can fight most things vertically quite easily. There's something in these trees here, a small boy. It might be an AML. It definitely looks like one. I'll try and get him with his panels. Okay, he's dead. I fired rockets anyway, just in case. That there is another target we can take out with cannons. God, this Griff is so fast. Such a good cast plane, but it's expensive if you don't have the Silver Lions to back it up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he... <laughs> kind of rubber banded a little bit. I am on the US server, so we are a tiny little bit laggy. So that's our fault. Anything else down here? Something in these trees as well. Oh, I see him backing up right now. It's brown camo, so probably... It might be that Leo that killed us. Okay, yeah, it was. He's dead. I mean, clearly he just got disintegrated with an RP3. Now, that might respawn a plane, which will be good for us. Look at the reflections on the water, looking good. Okay, another RP3 attempt here. P44, e he's dead too. And I'm not going to go for that King Tiger with rockets. That's quite unreliable. Now, I could have killed that T44 from top down with the cannons. Got a jet coming in. I'm gonna have to do some evasive maneuvers in a second. Is this a light boy too? Yes, it is. Try and force this guy to come down here. Oh, okay. It's a one six. Is it a one six three? No, I can't remember the name of this thing. Salamander is the name, but I can't remember the. The number designation. He's done some mad maneuvers, so he's gonna have to speed up now. Our plane coming in. This key is probably gonna take this guy out. He's getting super slow by rolling and maneuvering. I have to straighten up, dude. I think we got him here. <laughs> okay. He didn't want that fight for sure. Uh oh. He was a lot closer than I thought. A lot of some sort. Still got a couple of rockets on. This guy's got good acceleration, so we should be able to catch him. Another enemy plane? Okay. I think he's baiting me. I'll get some shots on here and then just leave him, I think. I don't know where this other plane's gone. He's definitely gonna die. Let's see if that J2 can even finish him off. 
Okay, plenty of cannon rounds left. It'll be an absolute terror in this thing. We'll try and stay low. We're gonna have a few SBAs probably very angry with us. He just blew himself up. Check for some more planes. I think we're good. Stood crossing the bridge probably is gonna be our next target. Oh yeah, that's uh maybe a Google. Bad rocket, unfortunately. We did hit him though. I'm gonna get away from this SPA. Uh, we could we probably have enough time to go get some more rockets. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. We do have control of all the caps and our team are pushing their spawn. I don't have many people left to be honest. We got another plane up though. So we're gonna put a hold on return into base. Let's try and fake out that we're not paying attention. He wants to get his rockets off. J2D? Oh, he's dead, dude. Nice job, J2. Nice job, dude. He might be able to put that fire out. I'm just going to be very careful where he's going. I want to take that dude's kill, though. And we have all the caps. Um, Let's do another... Let's swing around the battlefield again. Against my better judgment, we should probably go land, but this game is probably going to be over. By the time we land, we're probably going to have nothing to do. This Kugel's bullying this heavy tank and this light tank. I wonder if their guns are out. If he shoots this bulldog, he'll definitely kill him. Okay, he's on fire and can't move. He took out two crew members as well, I think, there. There he goes. Got another Kugel hiding behind this building as well. He's having a go at our J2. I'll get the rest of these rounds off on this Kugel and then we can call it that, I think. Okay, he's on fire, missing two crew. Can't shoot me now or even drive out because he's no transmission, no engine and no driver. And I think that's game. Yeah, GG. Fans to the rain. This is a brawling map, obviously. But it is a fill up to you. And we do have a good reload speed that can kind of remain competitive to fight multiple opponents. But when you're this close up, uh, the armor on this thing becomes non-existent against long 88s. Even a panther can go through our mantlet very reliably. <laughs> I got tracked and set on fire with artillery. <laughs> I'm hardly even out of the spawn. God, dude. That is... <laughs> that is so horrendous. I wish he couldn't drop artillery for like the first minute of the game. One of the reasons I don't really use it. You know how Gaijin loves their RNG though. T-54 just killed a T-26. A super purging with artillery. Outskilled. And this Doom Barn is... Just chilling in the open here. Oh, nice, dude. What is this dude looking at? Is that a Leo? Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. I think someone might be pushing this Doom Barn. That was... Very brave, dude. Very brave. I think my only hope here is to just hold this corner until we die, then we just get in our plane and try and deal with all the aircraft that are going to come in. Okay, we got this. Oh, okay, it's a Swedish scent. 
Maybe another one here as well. Oh no, someone's behind me. Yeah, yeah, reverse, dude. What is this dust? And then there's more. Yeah, missed that kill. Someone was riding my backside. Giggity. No, that guy's moved. Okay, we're being strafed. This dude isn't paying attention, no. Ooh. That must have been a rocket, I think. Or a bomb. I kind of feel bad that guy had a teddy bear on his tank. Oh, where's the Leo at? Is he in this corner? That's where he's moved. <laughs> Sneaky boy, did. Sneaky boy. Okay, up into the spy. We had one plane try and kill us already. It's definitely an enemy jet. And we got another prop coming in too. Oh, salamander. He's ground strafing a heavy tank. Right, where is this prop at? There he is, pulling up right in front of me too. And we'll get there in time. Okay, clipped his wing off. This dude. No, I know what that is now. That's the Swedish. Jet. Come on. I can chase this guy. And we can still out turn him as well. Got him with the Hispanos. By the way, if anyone's flying any sort of Spitfire or anything that's using Hispanos, ground target belts are the way. For sure. Another jet coming in. That's a 262. They are the way. I missed them. He's going to turn rather than run. He just tore his own flaps off. A2D's not going to be any help to me, I don't think. Okay, time to climb. We hold all the caps so we can chase this guy for a little while. He is. Is he coming back in? I'm probably the only aircraft up right now that can deal with this thing. He's going to try and cut in. Got a hit on him. Nothing more. Okay, he's gonna go away again. Back to the climb. Oh, we got a P-51 coming to help. This dude's heading over to A. Let's make sure that does not happen. Perfect. Okay. There's the other guy there I spotted before. Bulldogs on this corner too. If we can get this guy with a rocket and help this guy out. Okay, we got him on fire. Only his gun is still up. This guy, uh, yes, dude. Get him, Bulldog. Get him, skinny boy. You got this. Easy, dude. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Quellian. Okay, he's dead. And we got the Swedish light tank is down there too. He's chilling behind this wall. Right here, I think. There we go. Perfect. 
We got, uh, we got four perfect hits with the rockets, which is great. That doesn't happen very often. I don't know why the Griffins RP3s seem a lot easier to aim. There we go. GG. Being incredibly cocky here. Damn it, dude. I got his barrel, though. Everyone I seem to shoot at hits the brakes. He's smoked up. Is this T-92 in trouble? This guy's not looking my way. This is an easy hull break. Oh, JK. <laughs> JK. To keep remembering to refresh that smoke. Come on, Zen, up you get. Another bad shot, but we took his breach out. I did see a tank over here, there he is. Thank you for the smoke, dude. Oh, hello. That needs to go first. Okay, he's watching me now. Shot by a plane. Okay, gonna load us out on him. Time to refresh smoke. Okay, load a breach out in the Leo. Oh, and the M48 got back up again. Okay, we got a few people crit as well, which is good. We should definitely be able to afford to get into our plane now. Ooh. Yikes, dude. Okay, we got a plane up. Two, actually. One's on his way back to the airfield, looks like. This FAF is chasing this dude. He's probably gonna die, actually. The enemy, I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he beat an N1. Nice, dude. Hella nice. Another plane coming in. Is that a biplane? Yeah, that's a biplane, I'm pretty sure. Attention to the We're turning, are we? Okay, Hispanos. This guy's putting his gear out. That was definitely a mistake, wasn't it? That is... <laughs> Clipped his wings. Jet coming in. Need to get some speed. Well, missed him. Very poor gun placement there by me. That other plane's up somewhere as well. I'm gonna turn my back on this guy. It's good that we keep this guy preoccupied for a while so he can't get over the battlefield. He's gonna cause lots of problems for our team with that 50mm. Get some altitude again. I'm overheating. On web far too long. This dude's doing a solid 700. Oh yeah, he's fast. 
Back up we go. He's going out though. I want to keep it that way. That thing's very dangerous to our team. Couple of SPAs up. See if I can deal with this guy actually. Okay. Gotta keep these guys off of our planes. Here comes a jet again. <laughs> that was so close. I tried to get the one wing shot on him. But yeah, I almost clipped him. Almost clipped him. Oh, I thought that rocket was looking good. I did actually hit him, it just didn't do anything. Here comes our jet again. It was close, dude. Very close. He's starting to get slow, this guy. E-47's taking him in a head on. Killed our bulldog. I'm coming off the gas for a little while. Got plenty of cannon rounds. Going back for me. Yes, he is. Oh, I just missed him there. It's rolling scissors with me though. It's there he goes. I think he got bored. I think he just got bored or run out of ammo and decided just to keep up the fight. Almost got that deflection. That would have been really cool. Couple of guys down here. Oh, we can kill us. Get this guy with his panels. Hello, dude. He's on fire. That isn't good. Oh yeah. This is terrible. He's got very quick turret traverse and very quick elevation this thing. Oh yeah, that's not good at all. This is not good at all. This isn't going to go as well as it did with the Oswin too, that's for sure. <laughs> Where is he? I've lost him. Oh, here he is. Oh, I'm missing an elevator. A rudder. He shot my rudder off, I didn't even notice. Oh yeah, this is not okay. <laughs> Thank God this game is over. <laughs> so there we have it. The Spitfire Mar 24 Griffin. If you're looking for something that can deal with enemy casts, but also have the ability to pick off light targets and some key targets on the map, this will definitely help complement your very very capable 6.7 British lineup that we'll probably do a one and done later on this week with uh, Britain 6-7 and uh, see how that goes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Much love and bye bye.